If you're into streaming TV shows, movies, or live channels through IPTV, you've probably heard of Smarters Pro and TiviMate. These are two of the most popular players out there for watching your favorite content on devices like Fire Sticks, Android TVs, or even phones. Today, we're diving into a head-to-head -head comparison to help you decide which one is right for you. I've done the research, checked out user reviews, and tested the features, so let's get into it. First off, what are these apps? Both Smarters Pro and TiviMate are IPTV players. That means they don't come with any content. You need to add your own playlists from an IPTV service. They're like the remote control for your streaming setup, handling live TV, video on demand, and electronic program guides, or EPGs for short. They're super handy for cord cutters who want that cable-like experience without the high bills. Let's start with compatibility, because not every app works on every device. Smarters Pro is a real champ here. It runs on Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, and even has a web version for browsers. You can use it on phones, tablets, smart TVs, Fire Sticks, and more. It's got broader reach, which makes it great if you switch between devices a lot. On the flip side, TVMate is more focused on Android TV boxes, Fire Sticks, and similar big screen setups. It's optimized for remotes and TV interfaces, but it's not natively on iOS or web browsers. If you're all about that living room vibe, TVMate feels right at home. Now, user interface, this is where things get exciting. Smarters Pro has a straightforward, beginner-friendly design. It's simple to navigate, with categories for live TV, movies, and series right up front. Think of it as plug and play, easy for anyone to pick up. But if you love tweaking things, TiviMate takes the crown. It's got a modern, sleek look with tons of customization options. You can rearrange channels, change themes, hide categories, and make it feel totally yours. Users on forums rave about how it turns your setup into a premium cable box experience. No wonder people call it the king of IPTV players. Features are the meat of this comparison. Both support M3 playlists and Extreme Codes, so loading your content is a breeze. Smarters Pro shines with multi-screen support, parental controls, and even VPN integration in some versions. Its premium version adds video recording like a built-in DVR for catching up on shows. It also has automatic EPG updates and works well with external players. TiviMate, though, it's packed for power users. The free version is solid, but premium unlocks multiple playlists, advanced EPG with 14-day guides, catch-up TV, and scheduled recordings. Plus, it's super stable with fast channel switching and better search options. If you want deep customization like grouping favorites or auto-updating playlists, TiviMate pulls ahead. Pricing is another big factor. Smarters Pro has a free version with basic features, but the Pro upgrade is around five to 10 bucks a month or sometimes yearly at a discount. It's ad supported in free mode, which can be annoying. TiviMate's free version is limited, but the premium is a one-time fee, usually about five to $10 for lifetime access on up to five devices. That's a steal if you're in it for the long haul and no ongoing subs. So pros and cons time. For Smarters Pro, pros include wide device support, easy setup, and free multi-playlist options. Cons, it's less customizable, some users report data leaks, and the UI feels a bit dated compared to rivals. TiviMate's Pro's amazing customization, smooth performance, and it's the go-to for Android TV enthusiasts. Cons, premium is needed for the best stuff, and it's not as versatile across platforms. From what I've seen in reviews, TiviMate wins for most people, especially if you're on a Fire Stick or Shield. It's just more polished. In the end, if you're a beginner or need something that works everywhere, go with Smarters Pro. But if you want the ultimate TV-like experience with all the bells and whistles, TiviMate is your winner. It really depends on your setup and how much you like to tinker. What do you think? Have you tried both? Drop a comment below with your favorite, and don't forget to like and subscribe to Blongsin for more tech tips and comparisons. Hit that bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.